Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Abundant Living with Intermittent Fasting. My name is Denise and I'm your curly haired intermittent fasting girl. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, the virtue of perseverance and how we can look at this virtue in the terms of getting healthier and being able to make decisions day after day after day that help us to get to our goal of a healthier weight and a healthier lifestyle. So, um, I've been doing intermittent fasting now for almost, well, I guess it would be 10 months in two days. And I have um, haven't lost any weight for about two weeks now. Um, and I, you know, I feel myself like a little bit waffling in my decisions to make healthy choices in the last week or so. I felt a little bit hungrier and it's because um, I haven't been as diligent about creaming my coffee and um, the clean fast. And I know that that's the reason. So um, I was looking at, you know, reflecting on what is my motivation to persevere? What am I looking at? What's the big goal? And um, for me, the big goal is to be the healthiest I can be for my family um, I, uh, I'm a mom of advanced maternal age. I have a almost five-year-old and an 11-year-old, and they are very busy, um, very busy kids. And my husband has a very busy job. He, he um, works a lot of hours. And so we are just going all day long. And I was so tired all the time before. And um, my fibromyalgia was just really bad. I had a lot of aches and a lot of pains and it took me a long time to get going in the morning. And I, I wanted to feel better. I also wanted to feel better and have more energy to be more available to serve others, you know, um, so that I would have energy in the morning to get up, to get ready, to get moving so that, you know, my day would be available. And, you know, it's taken me a long time to get to this spot. Um, you know, and let's not forget that I, you know, I'm making decisions now, new decisions now that in the past I had been not making good decisions about. So, you know, I have 40 some years of bad eating choices um, to soothe, you know, my sadness or to soothe um, trauma or you know, in the short term, make myself feel better. Um, I also used food to gain more energy, especially when I was struggling with energy. Um, okay, I had to move inside because my neighbor had started mowing his lawn. But, okay, um, you know, I had also used food for energy because um, with fibromyalgia, you don't have a ton of energy. And I had some issues with um, uh, low iron, which caused... Um, low energy. So, you know, I have had times in the past where I have eaten more to try and gain more energy. So it's going to take some time to undo some of these old habits and, um, you know, keeping our eyes on the prize, both the long-term goal, whichever you decide, which is to be healthier, to be thinner, to be able to have more energy, to get rid of a health problem, whatever that big goal is, um, we have to keep our eyes on that and um, also set some smaller goals. So I have these um, pants that I have from the Old Navy that um, are cut really small and um I can close them, but they are not comfortable, and they're like my next set of gold pants. And, um, you know, so that's a, another short-term goal for me. Um, and then also to continue to feel healthier and better and more energy. So, you know, let's reflect on this. When we go to eat something, we have to decide, does it help us to achieve our goal? Number one. Number two, does it help us to be healthier? Um, and number three, um, is it worth it? Um, will I feel better? And um, will it feed me in my health journey? 
So I decided today um, I'm going to put this cupboard, uh, this on my cupboard, on my pantry. Um, and it says, will this food make you feel better? Is this a healthy choice? And is it worth it? So, you know, I, I opened up my window after I closed it this week. So I closed it, let's say at 6.30 or 7, then I opened it back up. And, you know, no, that food did not make me feel better. And I know for sure that if I have sugar late at night, I'm going to have more pain um, the next day um, because sugar affects my inflammation. And then is it salty? So in the morning, you know, I have arthritis in my hands. It's My hands are going to feel worse in the morning. So we can all take a moment to reflect and to remind ourselves what is the goal? What is the outcome we want? And to break it down into these smaller pieces so that we can um, make good choices one after another after another so that these small little um, decisions result in big results. So it's one small decision at a time. So, all right, um, friends, I wish you life in abundance and health. I wish you luck this week in your fasting journey um, and uh, all of God's blessings. Okay, see you next time. Enjoy your week. Bye-bye.